lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. For those of you guys that are interested in any of our journals, our journals are available. You can find the link at the description box below. We have all of the journals and the new one, my shadow journal that just came out or the manifestation one, or the gratitude one. You guys can find all of those things on there. For the shadow work journal, this is something that we have been working on all last year. And it is not only to heal, but to learn to integrate your shadow self so that you on a conscious and subconscious level know that you are worthy and deserving so that your manifestations can happen much more quicker and easier with more ease. So you can find all of that on the description box below. All right, my lovelies, I want to wish you guys happy holidays to all of you guys that are watching my channel. And uh, stay tuned as we have January uh, predictions coming through for all of you guys for all the signs. We're going to begin here for the mid-month love readings. This is going to be the love reading for all zodiac signs. So let's get into it. If you guys are interested in any of the spell work that we provide, any personalized spells or uh, personal readings, you can find all of that on our online store on the link below. We also have, uh, we're going to be ending that in January. So if you guys are trying to get your yearly reading, you can now find that online as well on our online store. And like I said, it's going to be going all through January. So the beginning of February, we will be closing that up. So you guys get those in as soon as possible, limited time, <laughs> as well as uh, placements for the calendar uh, are not going to be up or they're not going to be that available to you guys uh, for a very long time. So get it before February. All right, my lovelies, let's get into the readings. What you guys all came for? What are you guys doing for these holidays? Are you guys celebrating? On my side, we are definitely celebrating and it is a very important day. If you guys know me on a personal level, then you know why. And uh, yeah, so the family's getting all together and we are celebrating and being grateful and thankful. So let's get into it. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, we call on you. We ask you to step forward, our ascendant masters. Allow me to see, hear, sense, view, and receive the messages for all zodiac signs. We're going to begin here, of course, with Sagittarius. It is Sagi season. So let's begin with Sagittarius. Give me three cards to represent their new love, three cards to represent their old or past flame. Let's see what's going on here with Sagittarius. Sag, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Here we go. Let's see what you can expect all right so we have three cards to represent new love three cards to represent old flame all right let's get into it all right so your first card here Sagittarius is the knight of swords so the knight of swords this is in regards to how they see you I feel like there could be a bit of difficulty communicating right now or for this month. That's if you guys are already experiencing this. I feel like communication comes in very quickly and oftentimes because it is the Knight of Swords, it could come off as a bit aggressive or a bit, I don't know if it's ever happened to you guys where they text you and for some reason you can pick up on the vibe or the energy, even though there's no exclamation, there's no, you know, it's just a simple text, but it's almost as if you can sense the energy that's coming through. That's kind of the Knight of Swords when, you know, they're communicating or when they're trying to communicate with you. It can come off as um, being able to misinterpret certain things. So my advice for you guys for this month, if you guys are dealing with anyone new, try the best you can to not really go deep into reading things uh, too much because I feel like misunderstandings are bound to happen this month for you guys. Like I said, that's if you guys are not already experiencing that. Now, your next card here is the seven of wands and the seven of wands is in how they feel about you. So I feel like, again, there could have been some misunderstanding or miscommunication where they feel like at this point, their guard is up. So 
don't go very much into it, Sagittarius, like over reading situations, try to go with the flow. Um, it, of course, if you are intuitively picking up on something, then try to listen to that, obviously. But I feel like this has more to do with um, the quickness of a of communication. So it's almost as if you guys are having trouble being on the same page. And I feel like it could potentially be because both of you guys have a lot of things that are going on right now. Now, your next card here is the world card, and this is their future actions. So I do see that the connection continues. I just feel like it's going to be a bit challenged this month with communication for you guys, okay? Now, when we're talking about your ex flame or a person from your past, the first card we have here is the page of pentacles. So there is a desire or a want to communicate. I feel like they've been dealing with this type of energy for a while. As we all know, holidays are a season where nostalgia is something that definitely takes over. I feel like this could be that type of energy where they are constantly being reminded or reminiscing about the past. And that could be the reason why uh, you've been on their mind. Now, the next card here is the five of pentacles, uh, the feeling of being left out in the cold. Perhaps they don't have a lot of things going on right now in their love life. Um, and I do want to mention, I initially pulled out three cards and I'm noticing that we have four cards here. So we have the justice and the world card. If you are dealing with someone from the past and you left that situation because perhaps they thought the grass was greener on the other side, know and understand that even if they do happen to reach out to you, Sagittarius, don't take it seriously. Remember why you guys broke up. Remember the reason behind it. Because the justice and the devil card is kind of dealing with your own karma. And this is Saturn's energy. We're not speaking about you, Sagittarius. We're speaking about your ex flame. So again, they may have been dealing with a lot of regret or perhaps the feeling of you know, them dealing with their own karma, their own decisions, and it's weighing very heavy on them. So I feel like they may be reaching out because they are emotionally trying to um, feel better, make themselves feel better. Uh, if you embrace this energy, instead of them learning their lesson, what's going to happen is that they're going to think this is just something passing, but there is definitely a lesson that needs to be learned with this person from your past. So again, don't embrace, let go of the old in with the new. Okay. All right. We're moving on here. Let's go to Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like share and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that we can continue giving and providing more videos for you guys. We have tons of spell videos for the new year as well. So you guys keep staying tuned. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All right, here we go. We have one, two, three for new love. One, two, three for old flame. All right. All right, Capricorn, when it comes to new love, you have the nine of pentacles. I really want to highlight for you guys that it's going to be very important, not only this month, but going into 2024 to really embrace, even if those of you guys out there that have been single for quite a while, I really want you guys to go out of your way to embrace your singlehood. And the reason for it is because you're not going to be single for too long. But the nine of pentacles here is knowing your worth. It is knowing what it is that you want, being clear and transparent in regards to, you know, being almost being completely honest to ourselves about what it is that we want, what are our desires or what motivates us when it comes to relationships and partnerships. So with the nine of pentacles, I feel like for a lot of you guys, your singlehood time or the time of being single is quickly coming to an end. If you are recently dealing with someone new, I feel like this is going to put you in a position of really analyzing or internalizing, are you ready? Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been in this energy of being single, perhaps being very independent. When you start to deal some with someone new, you have to make time. You have to, you know, plan out dates and work with each other's schedules and stuff like that. 
So I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's a bit of resistance there or a bit of frustration because you guys have to go out of your way. And it's almost what I'm hearing is like, why do I have to work around them? Unfortunately, it is something that needs to happen when we're talking about relationships. But I feel that this is a positive thing. Why? Because if you've been very like open about connecting with people, it's going to make you, it's almost like the universe is telling you Capricorn, I'm willing to give you what you want, but do you really want that? So it's going to give you a little taste of your own medicine, so to speak. And I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to be a bit hesitant. Don't let that scare you off Capricorn, because I do feel that there is a relationship coming through for some of you guys where this is the ideal person that is for you. So again, if you need to switch up certain things, or if you even need to change certain views about partnerships and relationships, then it's time to do so because whether you're ready for those of you guys, maybe you're not seeking love, but it's definitely coming through for you. And I feel like it's going to be, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge getting you out of your comfort zone, Capricorn, or getting you out of habits. So it's definitely going to disrupt your, your habits, but it's definitely a positive thing. Okay. If you are currently dealing with someone, like I said, and it feels like things are not progressing in a very positive way, don't sweat, don't sweat the small stuff, Capricorn, because I do see someone coming in that is more, much more, I don't want to say convenient, but it almost seems like you guys have the same aspirations, the same goals and desires when it comes to partnerships. So someone better suited is coming through for you. Now, your next card here is the sun card. The sun card is a blessing or a blessed relationship that's coming through with the nine of swords. Again, I don't see any challenges when we're talking about your relationships. I feel like the only challenge here is, are you ready? Are you ready to get out of your comfort zone? Or are you ready to, you know, end certain habits and create new habits? This may take you a little bit, uh, a little bit of time, uh, Capricorn, because you guys are a bit of stuck in the mud. But I feel like in the positive aspect, it's definitely going to be a more fulfilling life for you guys. So um, be willing for change. It's something very important in Capricorn. All right. When we're talking about old love, we have here the Knight of Cups. So I do see someone coming through or coming towards you, Capricorn, that you could have dealt with in the past. Three of Pentacles is wanting to come together or wanting to get on the same page in regards to mending fences. I feel like there is an ex that is wanting to come back to your life, Capricorn. But I'm going to be honest here with the four of wands. I feel like you've, uh, you have already outgrown the situation or this connection or this partner. Now, if recently there was some type of breakup or separation and you're hoping or wanting for reconciliation, I do see that happening for you guys this month of December Capricorn. So there is a possibility to rekindle a relationship or something that you thought had came to an end. Uh, it could be that they themselves needed to give each other, they needed to give you and give themselves some time to figure out what it is that they want. But I feel that they're coming back around knowing exactly that it's you who they want Capricorn. So don't be surprised if that ex or that person you thought was no longer in your life, comes back around and tries to reconnect. I do see them wanting to make good on your side, okay? So the ball is literally in your court, Capricorn. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Aquas. All right, one more shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. All right, here we go. So we got three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All right, Aquarius. Whoa, you guys are definitely, definitely going to be experiencing major momentum when it comes to your love and romance. Now, your first card here is the four of wands, being able to stabilize or strengthen some type of union or partnership. If you guys are currently dealing with someone new, 
I see this actually progressing into something much more official. So I do see that in the month of December or January, there's going to be an elevated type of commitment or relationship. Like I said, if you guys are just casually dating, it could be that it becomes something much more solid or more official. Now, when it comes to um, how they feel about you, the hermit, I feel like they are being guided in your path right now, Aquarius. If you've recently met someone, I want to say you're dealing with them for about a little bit less than a month. I feel like it was no coincidence this connection came through for you. Because I do feel like for a lot of you guys, this is a new cycle in your life. And it's almost like you're being pulled or being drawn towards the right people. Now, this doesn't have to be only in love. This could be in other aspects. As an example, if you run a business or if you are working for a company, it's almost like people are gravitating towards you, people that are wanting the same goal, the same outcome. So it's like-minded people coming together to be able to solidify something, to make something happen. Um, again, if we're talking about love and romance, I feel like this month is going to be very good for you, Aquarians. And even going into January, there is definitely destiny is taking place right now. And I feel like things are falling into place for the very positive and betterment of you, Aquarius. Now, when we talk about your old flame here, we have the two of swords and the two of swords indicates not really wanting to learn lessons or uh, the person understanding that, yes, they still have feelings for you, but their refusal to make any type of acknowledgement of it, uh, any type of, you know, putting effort to wanting to reconcile. I don't see that happening. If anything, I feel like this month they're coming to the understanding that that relationship has concluded or has come to some type of culmination. I see them graduating from their lesson. However, I feel like on your part, if you guys were thinking or wanting some type of reconciliation, you have already outgrown this connection, Aquarius. So what they're telling you is to keep it pushing. There is nothing worse than wasted time. It is worse than wasted money. So again, if you were trying to reconcile or trying to reconnect with someone, it's not going to happen anytime soon. So what they're telling you is don't put yourself out in the sidelines, Aquarius. Remember, time is unforgiving and it does not stop or pause for anyone. And while they're out doing their thing or living their life, you sitting there waiting for them to make up or basically to choose you is wasted time. If they cannot choose you the first time, it's not worth them or it's not worth you waiting for them. Okay. All right. Moving on here. Moving on here to Pisces. Let's see what's going on with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Very interesting. Whoa. So for some of you, Pisces, you may actually be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aquarius will be uh, very quickly coming into your love life, uh, Pisces. Now, the first card we have here is the Hermit. So this is indicating to me a bit of introspection that you've been going through, Pisces, a lot of internalizing or figuring things out perhaps being clear or wanting to be more clear on what it is that you want or what you expect from a partner. Now, your next card here is the star card. So this is illumination. This is aha moment. This is coming to the understanding of what it is that you want and feeling or being willing to embrace it. And your next card is the four of wands, which is why I say for some of you Pisces, you may already be dealing with an Aquarius or will be dealing with an Aquarius in the month of December going into January because you got the exact same cards that Aquarius did. So what, what they're speaking to me about is if you guys are currently dealing with someone, if you've been dealing with them for, I want to say the past four months, I feel like there could have, you could have felt like there was a bit of stagnant energy, but this month and going into January, 
there's going to be a definite elevation. There is a jump in timelines. It's almost like being able to align yourself and be on the same page and figure out what it is that this connection is. And I feel like for the majority of you guys, it is a connection that is meant to, to thrive and that is meant to continue growing. So I do see the progress in this connection. For those of you guys that um, are not dealing with someone, uh, don't be surprised if you are being introduced to someone in a party or some type of celebration setting, could be a social outing uh, where people are going to be bringing you together. I feel like there is outside energy that is almost um, in a very, you know, uh, spontaneous way, putting you guys in the same room. And that's how you guys connect. Again, if this happens to you, Pisces, don't see it as coincidence. It is predestined. Moving on to your past partner or old flame. We have the Knight of Wands. I do see them communicating or wanting to reach out to you. For some of you, Pisces, if you are already dealing with the next that recently came back and that relationship had ended and you're trying to restart, unfortunately, what I'm seeing here is that there was a lesson that both of you guys needed to embrace and needed to learn. The refusal of that created this stagnant energy of wanting to revisit or wanting to go to the past, but quickly realizing that it's not what you thought it would be or that it's not what you hoped it would be. So it's kind of a situation where there is a breakup and then you two come together again, thinking that things are going to get better or that they're going to progress in a very positive way. But then it's not what you thought it was. The click, the chemistry, the connection is no longer there. There is an absence of desire here. So it's almost like realizing that you get what you want, but then you realize you don't want that anymore. So again, I feel like for the majority of you guys, you have already outgrown this situation. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance for the month of December. If you guys are interested in more readings and more videos, definitely don't forget to subscribe to our channel, you guys. Let's see what's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for old or new love. Three cards for old flame here. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see. All right. Aries, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Your first card here, Aries, is the moon card. So the moon card is still trying to figure out the waters, trying to figure out if you guys are being on the same page or connecting. I feel like for some of you guys, <clears throat> I feel like this is only a very small majority of you guys are dealing with someone that perhaps when first dealing with them, they presented, them the, they presented themselves to be a completely different person. And I feel like you guys kind of intuitively are starting to pick up on that. With the Ace of Wands, it is a quick start. But again, with the moon, I feel like it was a quick start that quickly came to a halt because there is a bit of disillusionment in this connection. I feel like they were pretty much selling you a dream, um, Aries, and I feel like you're finally realizing that or you're catching them in sneaky behavior that you're quickly pumping brakes on this. And good for you, Aries. You deserve better than for people to pretend something that they're not. Um, it's almost giving me the energy of like, this was so exciting and such a buildup that once you get to actually spend time with them and actually get to know them, they're not really what you thought they were. And it's almost like it's giving me ick type of energy. So again, not sure what they were like, not being completely honest to you about, but the fact that you're realizing that this month, uh, Aries is definitely a good thing. Keep it pushing. <laughs> Don't force things. All right, your next cards in regards to old love, we have the three of cups here. Three of cups is uh, embracing the celebratory type of energy or perhaps having a little too much fun being single. With the nine of pentacles, they are fully embracing this. So when we talk about, when we talk about an old love or a past partner, 
usually what we want to see in a love reading is some type of remorse or regret if there's a separation, right? I don't see that. I feel them really thriving or really embracing the fact that they're free or that they're single. If you're wanting to have some type of reconciliation, I don't see that happening. If anything, I feel like if they blocked you on all social medias and stuff like that, there is a reason if you're feeling like, oh, that's odd. I wonder what they're up to. They're clearly not up to anything good. That's the reason why they blocked you on all their social medias. They don't want you to see uh, the fun that they're having or the people that they're dealing with. So at this point, my advice would be to keep it moving, embrace what's new, let go of the past. There is no revisiting of the past that can possibly bring anything positive for you, Aries. So move on from that, my love. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. You guys definitely stay tuned as always, like we do and we have been doing the past few years. We will be uploading the January 2024 predictions that uh, you can always go back to sometime in the year of 2024 if you want to if you want to um, rehear the video or rewatch the video. Um, if you're going to certain strives or difficulties, they may actually give you more clarity and show you how to maneuver and how to get through those bumpy roads, right? 2024 is going to be much more better than 2023. That's for sure. All right, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, three cards, new love, three cards, old flame. Here we go. All right. One, two three one two three all right taurus your first card here is the knight of swords the ace of swords and the seven of pentacles when we are talking about love and romance if you guys are currently dealing with someone new i feel like you're going to be dealing with someone that could possibly come off as very abrasive or someone that is very assertive that could be a little bit triggering for you, Taurus, as you are usually the type uh, that is usually the one that embraces, right, the assertiveness. Um, I feel like this person could be a bit intimidating off the bat. However, the more you get to know them, the more you guys give each other the opportunity of getting to know each other, you're quickly going to find out that you have a lot of ideals, a lot of commonalities, a lot of goals and aspirations that are kind of drawing you guys together walking you or pushing you guys towards the same path. So it's almost like a beautiful surprise uh, when you come to the realization that the deepening of this connection has a lot to do with the fact that you guys have a lot of things in common. Um, they do give me a bit of abrasiveness type of energy though. So it could be a person that is extremely bold or, ex or extremely blunt. Uh, someone that is uh maybe perhaps very confident and they come off as cocky, um, but quickly getting to know them, you'll realize that they are actually not cocky. They are just, they've worked on themselves and they have every right to be confident about their abilities. So uh, give them that opportunity. If you are dealing with this person, um, again, I feel like it's a beautiful surprise because the more you get to know them, the more the deepening of the connection happens. Now, if you guys are not currently dealing with anyone, I see that there is a connection that will be forming in the next seven days for some of you guys. So in the next coming seven days, you can actually meet or bump into someone new um, that is going to play a more important role in your life when it comes to love and romance. Uh, so again, embrace everything that is coming through for you guys. All right. Now, when we're talking about old flame or past love, we have the death card. So they are aware that it's come to an end. They've realized that there's no turning back. We have the tower. The tower is something sudden, something quick. Okay, so for some, I feel like 
what they're showing me here, especially because we have the nine of cups here. If there was, if there was a situation or even this relationship came to an end and it was something that was unexpected or that disintegrated very quickly, almost like they kind of were with you one day and then the next day you guys were done or broken up. I feel like there is an understanding from the universe how they ditch you, Taurus. Or they ditch you really dirty. Um, and they're going to be dealing with the consequences of that. And while they are graveling in the depths of despair, you're going to be thriving. So it's coming off to me as a validation that you will be vindicated for everything that they put you through, Taurus. Um, not sure who wants to hear that, but it's almost like it did not go unnoticed how you were treated and they will be dealing with the consequences of that. And all the while you're being blessed and doors are opening up for you, Taurus. So, um, beautiful reading when it comes through like that. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love. Three cards for old flame. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm still trying to connect uh, with Gemini energy, but I am hearing um, Taurus. I am hearing that... Um, what I heard right now was almost like, I don't know how to describe this. It came through in a way of remember how difficult it was to get through that old flame, right? To get over that old flame. And as hard and as difficult as it was, that's how much of blessings are being bestowed upon you right now or will continue to be bestowed upon you. So just remember that and it served, like I said, as a validation, okay? All right, moving on. Gemini, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All right, here we go. Three cards for Gemini, new love, three cards, old flame. All right. In regards to new love, we have the five of wands, the two of wands and the justice card. So for some of you, Gemini's, you're dealing with a Libra energy. For others of you, there is almost this. If you felt like your love life hasn't had very much ex excitement, that's quickly going to be changing for a lot of you guys. I feel like you guys are being drawn or pulled by other people or people that are in your inner circle that are making you or pushing you to be more social, to go out to gatherings, to, you know, get togethers and social outings where I feel like this person is coming through for you and it's almost bringing balance to you. So again, if you felt like your love life hasn't been that exciting, that's quickly going to be changing. I see, I literally was shown in my mental eye here in my third eye, I'm literally seeing the scales balancing. So if you felt like you were wronged or you felt like you were mistreated in your previous relationships, I see a relationship forming that is bringing to you balance. But not only that, I feel like it's almost like you're being rewarded for what you have gone through or what you have done for other people and they've taken that for granted or they've taken uh, you for granted and it's almost like you are being rewarded you are being you know you're being brought or i should say people are being brought to you people that are predestined to be in your life that are going to help you see the way or find the way or find the person that is going to bring a lot of emotional fulfillment for you gemini powerful energy here you guys okay now when it comes to past love we have the three of cups, the lovers and the eight of swords. So there was definitely a choosing and they chose wrong. This is a person that is now dealing with remorse or regret for what they did to you, Gemini. But hear this, okay? I feel like the reason why they're feeling bad or feeling sorry for themselves is because now they don't see no way out. 
They're having to deal with the consequences of their actions and it's weighing very heavy on them. And instead of taking self-responsibility, they find it easier or they think that it's easier to come crawling back. If you hear from them, my advice is to close the door on them, especially if they ditch you this type of dirty, show them the freaking door. Do not embrace or do not try to heal someone that didn't give a shit how they left you. Do you get what I'm saying? They didn't care if they left you bleeding for death. Like, do not waste your time. You've outgrown this connection and this person deserves everything that's coming to them. My opinion. All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you guys are interested in any of the personal readings or the 2024 uh, glimpse shot reading, uh, you can find all of that on the description box below on our Shopify. All right. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you guys are interested in my shadow journal, the book that we have been working on for a very long time, it is out now. And this is going to be a very transformative book for you guys, a journal that is really going to help you um, clear out all that junk, all that negative energy, all of that childhood trauma, and it's going to help you align yourself to your desires and wants. It is crucial in manifestation. So I highly encourage you guys to get that. You will find that on the link below. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on with you guys. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we also have the 2024 January predictions like we do every year. You guys stay tuned for that. All right, here we go, Cancer. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Also, I do want to mention, we are going to be integrating on our YouTube channel um, videos that are very much uh, <clears throat> like a podcast of conversations that are going to be happening where I'm talking to other people or people that work in the same practice that I do, sharing stories and still talking to you guys about paranormal experiences that we have experienced or that I have experienced. All of that good stuff, all of that coming to you guys for 2024. We're going to keep it going as well as using the spirit box and all of that good stuff. So you guys stay tuned. All right, Cancer, here we go. In regards to new love, we have the Queen of Cups. Keeping your heart open, Cancer, is going to be very important this month. Now, your next card here is the Moon card. So Piscean Energy... Cancer energy as well, obviously your energy. I feel like you're being able to tap into your subconscious cancer when it comes to manifestations. If you guys have been working on manifesting love and romance, and it's been a very long journey for you guys, that is no longer going to be the case as I do see a person making way or coming through for you guys. This is something that spirit's communicating if you've been working a lot on self-love and healing and working on yourself and manifesting, finally, I see the person coming through for you guys. And I see it happening in January where this person comes in. It's going to completely blow everyone out the water in comparison to what you're accustomed to, Pisces. This is a person with a much higher vibration, someone that is much more emotionally evolved and more mature. Now, for others of you, what they're showing me here with the Queen of Cups, the Moon, and the Knight of, sorry, yes, the Knight of Pentacles, what they're showing me is that you have to be clear and you have to be honest about what you expect in relationships, Pisces. You can no longer fuck around. The reason I say this is because you need to remember Saturn is in your sign. So whatever is not working for you, you need to discard that, move out from that, Kick that person out of your life. No longer, you know, keep going around the same cycle. That is done. It's done so. It's no longer working for you. You've outgrown. And what Spirit is telling you is if you don't want to continuously keep dealing with ungrateful people, you need to be more precise and more like 
you have to be more wiser in the people that you choose to give your heart to. Now it's no excuse of, oh, well, they deceived me. They pretended to be something they're not. Spirit is telling you it's time for you to take self-responsibility. You are who allows people to come into your life and where you create boundaries. So moving forward, what they're telling you here is it's no longer about playing around. It is about learning your lessons, Pisces, if you don't want to keep dealing with the same energy, just in a different body. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Now, when it comes to past relationships here, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Star card. Now, what this is indicating to me is that you are becoming much more practical in your approach to love and romance. And that is something that, you know, definitely connects with this, that you've outgrown this type of energy. So you're becoming more selective is what I'm hearing. But when we're talking about a past relationship, I do see for those of you guys that have been wanting to reconnect or wanting to reconcile with a lover that was good to you. And for some reason, it just, you guys couldn't get it together. I feel like they're coming back around with a much more elevated energy. Now, this is not to be confused with this energy. If you are dealing with someone that is just no good for you, it's time to shut the door because if you don't, you're going to keep repeating the same cycle. Now with this, I do see a reconciliation happening, but this is only for those of you that are dealing with a much more evolved person, someone that was willing to put in the work and perhaps in certain aspects, you were a bit selfish or you didn't want to meet them halfway. You didn't want to put in the work that they were willing to put. I feel like you guys are finally coming together to actually hash out what it is that you guys are expecting from both or from one and the other from each other, that you're able to get on the same page and pick up from that. So there is a definite reconciliation coming through. We're not talking about a recent ex. We're talking about someone that played a very important role in your life. And for some reason, destiny or life brought you guys or separated you guys. There is a revisiting of that energy and being able to kick off a new beginning. Like I said, not to be misconstrued with this energy because this is a very different energy, you guys, okay? All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on here with Leo. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus in regards to love. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with Leo's. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All right. Now, when it comes to new love, you have the page of cups, the seven of wands and the four of cups. What is it that you want, Leo? I feel like this person is really putting in some type of effort. They're really wanting to get to know you a little bit better, but I feel you very hesitant or not really as enthusiastic about this connection. For some of you guys, it could be that this month you decide you no longer want to deal with this person. It's like they're not really excited or they're not everything you hoped they would be. And you're not being apologetic about knowing what it is that you want is what I'm hearing. So for some of you guys, you're making the decision to walk away from something that um, potentially could have had promise there. But I feel like they're just not doing it for you, Leo. And don't feel bad about that. Sometimes it just happens that way where we can't force, you know, the connection. And if it's not a connection that you were looking for, uh, perhaps it's kind of like the scenario of you feel their vibe more like a friend than a lover, then you can't really force that. And if that's the case, then definitely uh, I always encourage you guys to be honest and to not mislead people. So uh, it's better to be completely honest and tell them the deal or how it is than to continuously keep leading them on. Now, what I am also being shown is for a lot of you guys, there needs to be some changes uh, if you want change in your love life. Uh, so what I mean by that is I see you guys, and oddly enough, I usually don't see Leos this way, but I see you guys very like isolated, a bit private, or perhaps 
very comfortable and comfort for me seems like the home body. Uh, Leos are not usually known for that, but that's the kind of vibe that I'm sensing. And sometimes that's important because we need to reconnect with ourselves. There's nothing wrong with that, but make sure not to stay in that energy for too long, Leo, especially because that's definitely not your energy. You are the sun, you radiate energy. And remember people's energy also radiates back to you. So sometimes when you feel depleted, when you feel sad or depressed, it could be because potentially you're not being around people. And as the sun energy, you have to charge for others to recharge you. You get what I'm saying? So uh, try to embrace more spontaneity in your love life <clears throat> or in your life in general that is going to help you in your love life. Now, when we talk about love, uh, past love, sorry, we have the 10 of wands. We have the king of cups and the king of pentacles. So what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing two masculine energies. Doesn't have to be masculine. It is just an energy. So for some of you guys, it could be female energy. However, what they're showing me here is a bit of a bit of wanting to run away from the reality of things. So you could be dealing with an ex that perhaps rumors come to you where they're kind of solely reflecting back to you everything you did wrong or kind of like what well, didn't work out because Leo didn't put no energy or because Leo gave up or because it's kind of like quickly faltering to you or putting the blame on you. Um, but I feel like the reason they do this is because there is a reputation or there is something that they have to, or they feel quote unquote, that they have to protect. So it could be potentially as an example, it could be that a parent or partner uh, not partner, sorry, a parent, a mother or father could be asking them what happened with Leo. And it's almost like, well, you know, I was just tired of them being too controlling. And, and instead of actually being honest about why it didn't work out. Um, so it's almost like as a way to try to deflect the fact where they lacked or where they didn't do enough. It's like, I'm going to put the blame on Leo and have Leo be the one to like be looked at in the wrong around my friends or around the people or the circle that we were all connected with. So it's more about reputation. Um, don't be surprised if you do hear that, you know, as an example, if your ex-partner was the one that stepped out of a relationship or that they cheated on you, it could be that they try to turn it around and you hear rumors this month about them saying that it was actually you who cheated. Try the best not to fall into that. I feel like it has more to do with wanting to see if there's any type of reaction from you. No reaction is a reaction and it's a reaction of power. So again, sometimes people do petty shit or do things uh, to try to get to rattle you and, and by you being rattled and reacting, it's like they still have some type of control over you. You're too wise for this, Leo. Let it go. Ignore it to each their own, you know, wish them well. At the end of the day, um, nothing could be hidden. Nothing. Uh, it may take a month. It may to take two months, but the truth always comes out. So even if you feel like you want to say or speak your truth, like there's no need for that. Uh, why? Because the universe will take care of the rest. So again, uh, keep it pushing. All right, moving on here. Let's see what's going on with Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to new love as well as old flame. Give me three cards for new love, three cards for old flame, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, here we go. Three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. Let me take a sip of my cup. Okay. Here we go. Now, in regards to new love, we have the sun card, the four of cups, the five of wands. Okay. Virgo, what happened? <laughs> it's giving me the energy of 
you guys could have been dealing with someone that perhaps you were very like energetically attracted to this person could have been on a physical level, but then you quickly find out that there's not really much up here or you don't have a lot of commonalities with this person. Um, and then people start to give you more attention, meaning people outside of the person you were dealing with. So it's almost like your attention was towards someone, but then they kind of lost your attention and now you're embracing uh, other people's attention. If you're not dealing with this, you will be dealing with this in the end of December. And I feel like you're like, eh, I'm just going to embrace, you know, other people and see if like I click off better with other people. Um, yeah, I'm going to be honest. The sun cart five of wands is speaking to me a lot about getting attention or like your love life, taking a restart and things start to pick up for you guys going into January, 2024. Um, yeah, I don't see if you guys are currently dealing with someone new. I don't see nothing exciting. If anything, again, I feel like January is going to bring to you much more suitors that are better league than for you or where you're at at this point in your life. So uh, don't feel bad if you kind of have to, um, you know, bring your attention back to yourself for a bit, Virgo. Uh, the positive in this is that you're going to definitely be getting a lot of attention in January. Now, when we talk about old love here, we have the hanged man, the high priestess and the eight of pentacles. I feel them watching you from a distance. I feel them really keeping a close eye on you. If I was you and you're not wanting your ex to be knowing what's going on in your life, I would definitely be going through my socials to see if you have anyone on there that is unrecognizable to you. You might want to delete them because I feel like they're being sneaky about it. So it could be that they're watching you from a friend that probably has you or from fake accounts because the hanged man and the priestess is definitely, I don't want to be seen. I'm going to be at a distance or almost like in some type of facade, some type of pretense um, while they're keeping a very close eye at you or on you. I don't see any future actions like them coming towards you or revealing themselves to you. If anything, it's just giving me really creepy uh, type of energy. So again, I would advise for you to, if you still have them on your social media, just block them. Um, you don't want them shitting on your parade, okay? All right, moving on. Let's see what's going on with Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of December. Libra, three cards, new love, three cards, old flame. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on with my Libras. All right, Libra. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, when we talk about new love, we have the Temperance, Ace of Pentacles, and the Magician. Wow. So this is definitely talking about a higher elevated type of commitment or type of connection that's coming through for you guys. If you guys are currently not dealing with anyone, I see this connection happening in the end of December, beginning of January. There is definitely someone of a higher vibration or someone that is much more evolved than the people that you're accustomed to, Libra, that is coming into your life and it's almost as a synchronicity. So if you guys have been on the path of manifestation, this person is finally coming through for you guys. Now, the temperance with the Ace of Pentacles is definitely talking about learning to balance your love life as well as your profession. This is something that I often see in clients sometimes where you get into a relationship and you completely forget everything else. It's almost like you've become enthralled in this relationship. And the bad thing about that is when you lose yourself in a relationship and that relationship comes to an end, every other aspect of your life went to shit because you didn't nurture it. You didn't give it attention. You lost the friends you had because you were more focused or ignored them over the partner that you're with. And then they're no longer there and you kind of feel lost and you don't know what to do. Um, try not to do that mistake, Libra, because I feel like this is something you've done in the past. And what they're telling you is it is crucial and very important, not only in your love life, but in every single aspect of your life to maintain balance. Do not lose yourself. You must remember that even being in a partnership is coming together, two people coming together to better their life, not to lose themselves in that relationship that you completely forget about everything else. 
So there is an importance and balance here that is uh, that is warning you or that is telling you uh, that you need to learn to master this. Now, when we talk about past love and relationships, I feel you guys are really going to be tempted this month and in the month of January to embrace something that had came to an end. So this is definitely an ex coming back, trying to reach out, trying to seduce you or trying to make themselves so enticing so that you can bring them back into your life or welcome them back into your life. And with the three of swords, it is about don't set yourself up for disappointment or disillusionment, Libra. You've outgrown the situation. It's time to keep it moving. It's time to let go uh, of that connection, especially there's a toxicity that's connected to this relationship. So what they're telling you is don't lose yourself in the wanting to give them another opportunity when they've continuously let you down in the past. Don't say, don't say, uh, self-sabotage yourself in setting yourself up for disappointment. All right, my lovelies. Moving on here, let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Finally, Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. If you guys like these videos, like, share, and comment, let me know so I can keep them coming for you guys. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, three cards for new love, three cards for old flame. All right, here we go. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, we have the Ten of Swords, the Empress, and the Six of Cups. Okay. Okay, so what I'm seeing is if you guys are currently dealing with someone that is almost giving you like hot and cold type of energy, they communicate or text every day, like for a whole day, and then the next day they go missing or they go MIA, um, the reason for this is because, especially if they have like a baby mama or baby daddy type of issue, I'm going to be honest, uh, Scorpio, my advice is keep it, go keep it moving. Um, don't waste your time here. I feel like this person is not done or they haven't moved on from the past and they're still clinging on to the past because they're hoping that there could be some type of reconciliation with the 10 of swords. There's no reconciliation. But the Six of Cups and the Empress definitely tells me that there's still lust or desire there. So they could potentially still be dealing with the baby baby mama, baby daddy, or they can still be sleeping with them. So again, my advice is if you're dealing with that type of situation and it's almost like kind of giving you, you know, red flags, but you're not really sure and you're like, oh, I don't know, you know, is it in my head? Is, you know, it's not in your head. And this is just the validation. What they're telling you is keep it pushing don't waste your time with this person because they're still stuck on stupid. They're still stuck on the past. So let that shit go. Now for others of you guys that are currently dealing with this scenario where you're dealing with baby daddy or baby mama, you're trying to move on, but because you don't have nothing really exciting going on, you're still entertaining this. This is what's affecting your love life. You got to stop doing that. You guys need to remember and understand that at the end of the day, when we're sleeping with someone, it's an exchange of energy. If that person doesn't want to see you succeed in a relationship because it's your baby daddy or your baby mama, and you're still sleeping with them, they are potentially creating blockages in your body to be able to embrace new beginnings. So again, if this is your situation, it's time to stop doing that and cleanse yourself. I would definitely advise a road opener or a Kundalini cleansing uh, that is going to release that stagnant energy of the past to be able to release yourself from the past and move forward, embracing new beginnings. Okay. And finally, when we talk about past lovers or past relationships, old flame, we have the three of cups, we have the eight of cups and the knight of cups. So Again, no surprise here. I do see a person from the past coming back around, trying to reach out to you, Scorpio, trying to reconnect or wanting to see if you're still willing to mingle without the responsibility of actually giving you a relationship. My advice is this is fuck boy or fuck girl type of energy. Don't waste your time. You've outgrown this. You know exactly what it is that you want. You know exactly what it is that you deserve. Do not settle for anyone don't matter what in your head you've created this idea of them. Like, no, 
if a person is not willing to put in the effort, you do not put in the effort. And I'm going to say something too. If you're dealing with someone that has or expects you to go out of your way to go see them, just so that you can give like a temporary 20, 15 minute type of satisfaction moment, like, no, if they're not putting in the work and they're not willing to give any type of value to you, keep it pushing. Don't waste your time. Let it go. You've outgrown this. You deserve better than this fuck boy, fuck girl type of energy. Okay. All right. My lovelies. I hope that you guys enjoyed these readings. I wish you guys all the very best. Happy holidays. Let me know how you guys are going to celebrate the holidays in the comments below. And I will see you guys soon. I have tons of videos coming through for you guys. So you guys definitely stay tuned. I will see you guys until then. Bye-bye. Thank you.